theory about the internet and everything but basically people believe that every movie is connected in some way or in this sense the six degrees of Kevin Bacon <laughs> so there is a game that goes on that people play that involves finding a movie and another movie basically six different movies and Kevin Bacon's involved in them in some way or another so either he was in one movie and was in another and another and another so him and I Today, we'll be talking about How I Met Your Mother and the cast members, what happens after... Well, since the show is over, what happened to these characters after the show is over? And this is obviously parody, this is not whatever, this so... This is not actually what happened, this is what we think... What could, could have... In the, in the infinite uh, universes, in the multiverse theory, this is what happens. Yeah. So first of all, can I say... Starting out with Ted Mosby. Like the whole running gag of the whole Bob Saget voice thing. I like to say, what I think happened to Ted Mosby. Of course his wife died in the show, so I'm going to start out by saying like, before that ever happened, well they copped it out by doing that, the whole wife dying. But anyways, in my version, yes, the wife died, but at least after a couple of years and they actually explain what's going on. So the wife dies, Ted is all depressed. The kids are depressed, all is going to hell. The daughter is all depressed that her mom is gone, she commits suicide. A year, a year later, the son commits suicide. And then there's Ted, all by himself, lonely as hell. Dude, you just got dark. <laughs> yeah, well, well, there's a reason for this. Go on. So Ted decides to say fuck it and just decides to move to San Francisco. Meets up with his wife's brother which happens to be Uncle Jesse from, from Full House. Meets up with him, tells him about his crappy ass life. They decide, why don't you stay here and all that stuff. Along the way, they meet Joey. Somewhere in the park, him being a pedophile or some shit. Cause yeah, Joey's pretty much a creeper in this show. So years have passed, Ted renames himself Danny, has a better life, meets his next future wife, has three beautiful daughters, and of course, his wife dies. And then, Jesse and Joey decide to move in with Danny and raise three girls in a full house. That's my thing on that. Alright, so my thing on this is, Ted, don't really know what happens to be perfectly honest. Uh, he gets Alzheimer's. We don't ever hear from him again. Uh, his son is does whatever he does his daughter does whatever she does but the mother she decided instead of going off and dying of some illness instead she fakes her death and she basically goes off with Jordan Belfort who from Wolf of Wall Street I need to see that movie she ends up and and this is why because the mother is Christine Milotti er, Kristen Milotti and she's in that movie and she plays, not a hussy, but she plays a nice loving mother, but she also plays a stupid stuck up bitch. And so Ted realizes, well, he fucked up and everything. And because Jordan reminds her of Max, because we never do see Max in the show, Jordan reminds her of Max, she cheats on Ted, or they were former lovers or something like that. And uh, they're basically, they're dead, or he, she's dead to them. Um, for Barney, my theory is that he ends up base I'm, I'm yelling uh, Barney ends up going insane uh, and getting really depressed yes he has a daughter but his daughter does her own thing ignore that and he on. ends up uh, basically becoming a doctor he has he's really intelligent so he decides to become a doctor and in doing so he wants to take over the world so he becomes Dr. Horrible and then he ends up, which is also kind of his theory, after that, he basically gets, he goes into Harold and Kumar. You want to explain my version? Well, he goes into Harold and Kumar, and gets high on all drugs, and then he basically makes a truth serum, or no, not truth serum, so he makes a youth 
serum where you can go back and age, and this is where his theory comes in. Yeah, besides the whole Dr. Horrible thing, my version is, like, Barney divorces his wife, Robin, in a couple of years, like, six to seven years. Not knowing what he's going to do with his life, he decides to study to become a doctor. So with his medical training, he decides to do all this shit. And during that time, he decides to make a youth serum. So well, he takes a youth serum and he experiments on himself. But the side effects is he completely loses his memories except for his. Sorry, he completely loses his memories except for his medical training. So he becomes basically eight years old again, not knowing who he is. He renamed himself Doogie Hauser. He becomes the youngest medical doctor in the history of the world. Okay, so the next theory we have in the multiverse theory: what happens to um, the boss? We we know he's in Which Chicago. One? Ted's boss. We know he's in Chicago. We know that he's doing his own thing. So here's what I have. He basically decides that his life is going in shambles. He's a really intelligent person. And he ends up going to Albuquerque. He makes friends with a guy named Walter White. Decides to learn everything he can about this man. And he's very, like I said, he's very intelligent. Kills off Walter White, gets plastic surgery, becomes Walter White, makes meth, and dies. Your theory? Ted's boss. I forgot what his name was. After years of figuring out that he's depressed as fuck, goes and decides to go into dentistry and becomes a dentist from Seinfeld. After that, he's not happy with his whole dentist career. So he basically moves into this little suburb, meets his future wife named Lois. They got a whole bunch of kids running around. But at a time at the end where he has like too many kids, he just winds up going nuts, leaves them all, and just runs off into a different city. This is where he meets Skylar. And all hell breaks loose. The end. <laughs> okay, so the theory about Lily and Marshall. So my theory is that Lily uh, and Marshall, they do the thing and then they decide to do this. It was kind of his theory, but they go into this experiment uh, because, yeah, my theory is that, well, Marshall wins, he, you know, becomes a senator or whatever. Uh, well, or basically he was Supreme Court. I was, he basically becomes a senator. A big time guy. A big, yeah, he becomes a big time guy and his life is in danger. Um, because he makes some stupid mistakes. They talk about how he saves the world, but they never really talk about how they do it. And so he basically decides that he he screws up somehow. Someone wants to take his life. So him and Lily decide to go into this experiment, experimental program where they end up uh, having to... They meet this doctor. He has a time machine. Yeah. And this was his theory, and that kind of built upon it. He has a time machine... And so Marshall ends up going back into, I'll let you say that one, but Lily ends up going back into 1990s, reliving her uh, very, because we don't actually see much about her, um, yes. her, her high school years. So she ends up going back into basically Michigan and uh, to Great Falls, and she ends up marrying Jim. And she becomes a really horny band geek. Yeah. That's his. That's I would say fine. the year she goes back into high school, loses her memories. Because of losing her memories, she becomes a socially retarded. Changes her name. Was it Willow from that show? I can't remember. She winds up in Sunnydale and starts going on vampire kick-ass adventures with a girl named Buffy. And then later on, she meets Jim in college years or high school or something like that. I'm getting those... The universe has just collided. So as for Marshall, he goes back in time to 1984, becomes a burnout, starts rocking out to drums, meets James Franco and Seth Rogen, and starts hanging out, hanging out with a high school girl who has a brother for a geek, and becomes basically one of the lead characters of Freaks, Freaks and Geeks. Then he ends up going to heaven. That's my, the rest of my theory. Yeah. Then he ends up going to heaven and this is the end. We just ruined a bunch of movies for you, too. Uh, and so who, who else do we have left? Robin. 
Robin, oh. Robin, because she's like... This is the best one. <laughs> she, it's like, Robin gets divorced from Barney, swears off men forever, decides to say fucking move on, winds up moving somewhere else in New York, starts training in a secret military base up in the sky to, with a man who has an eye patch and who screams a lot. <laughs> Uh, Basically, mother- his, let's just say his or her boss has a fury of a temper. I've had his motherfucking adventures on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so who do we who do we have left? Uh, oh, Marshall's boss. Oh yeah, Marshall's boss. Uh, Marshall's boss. He tells him to go fuck himself. Marshall's boss basically commits some sort of commits some sort of breaks some sort of law, runs off to a different city. Changes his name to Saul Goodman, starts practicing long again, and meets Walter White. <laughs> and you know the rest. And that's why. And then. And then that's why there's a hit on, on Marshall, because Mark because he pissed off his boss, <laughs> and his boss has high contacts, and he gets uh, he gets uh, what's his face from uh, Mike. He gets Mike to kill, try to t- put a hit on Marshall, and Mike's like, "Why the fuck would I go to New York?" <laughs> oh. Uh, Marshall's father has it, gets into an accident, causes him to deform his hand. He becomes a butler in Scary Movie Two. <laughs> Lily, you mean Lily's father? Yeah, Lily's not father. Marshall. Monster. Oh, what happens to Marshall's father? Well, he's dead. I don't okay, know so what happens? So, 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 but so here, so after, so the thing about Lily, so the butler is that Marshall or Lily's father is a thing with is basically having a relationship with Lily's mom or sorry, Marshall's mom. And but after that she dies and he becomes a creepy father. He's always been a creep. Uh, oh, I got one more. It's like Barney's brother, you know, James. Wayne, James, played by Wayne Brady. It's like basically he's getting on the show. After the show is over, he decides to study theater acting. Goes on to theater acting. Becomes improvisation. Does improvisation. Goes on to whose line is it anyway? And then goes on to Chappelle's show. You don't mess with Wayne Brady. Then he gets his own TV show, gets married, and fucks everyone. Yeah. The end. So, uh, that's our theories. I mean, there might be more left. Like, we don't know what, happened to, what happens to Carl. Actually, Carl? we know. He do. He opens up a bar with it. He keeps his bar open with his son, the bartender, Carl. Um, as for Blah Blah or Carol, well, she becomes a stripper. Uh, uh, the rich girl that... Captain's wife... Becomes part of the Hunger Games. Oh God! Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's Jennifer Lawrence, dude. The captain's wife is not Jennifer Lawrence. The captain's wife is Jennifer Lawrence. She's blonde. That's not Jennifer Lawrence. That's Jennifer Lawrence. That is not Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, look it up on IMDb. Fuck you! It's not Jennifer Lawrence. It's Lawrence. So oh yes. fuck. So the captain's wife basically basically goes on to the Hunger Games and shit. You actually looking that up? Yes, I am. Continue what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, That's basically all I can think of right now. And then the captain goes to become a continues to be a Broadway musical artist. Yeah. Actor. Uh, what happens to boats? 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 Oh, actually, that's Captain's wife. What happens to uh to do? What was Wolf Forte's? Barney's name? dad. Wait. Oh, he becomes a, he goes to he becomes an alien, and he ends up going into space. And then comes back to Earth, thinks he's human, and becomes a Trinity killer. <laughs> <laughs> Who is left? Oh, oh, and then he, also does, then he also does a ca- campaign with, uh, with the, this other douchebag uh, and gets, um, and it's Will Ferrell versus Zach, uh, like Zach Gal- yeah, yeah, in the uh, campaign. What was Will Forte's character on that show? The, cum- the, cl- the clumsy lawyer guy who all fucks everything up? I don't remember. Okay, those who remember who Will Forte is, he was that clumsy motherfucker that Marshall didn't want to fire at first, but then he fired him in, after all. Will Forte goes on to Slime and Salmon, gets orders a bunch of food, and then gets run over by a bus at the end. Yay! So basically that's all we can think of right now. Oh, and then we, then we have that, uh, oh, and we also have Linus. Whatever happens to Linus? Who's Linus? Thank you, Linus. I don't never seen it in anything. Yeah, you know, he, you know, yeah, I'm saying what happens to, uh, okay. But I don't know who that actor is. Uh, he is... I don't know. How I Met Your Mother, Captain's Wife. Just type in Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, and there's another theory. It's actually not so much a theory, but a um, 
a, a comparison of friends to how I met your mother. Basically, it is friends. Like, yeah, but, uh, but Phoebe is a mother. Because we know who she is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Phoebe. Yeah, because everyone talks about Rachel Rosh. Or Rosh. Rachel oh, Rosh. Rachel. Oh, Ranjit still opens up, has that little service, and then becomes, you know, ace, whatever. Zoe, uh, his ex wife was uh, Zoe Pearson. Yeah, that's her name, Zoe. Yeah. Um, George Vance. <laughs> but, anyways, while he's trying to figure that out, um, we're going to cut it off right here. <laughs> and so, until next time, you know, Nisha. Wait, 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 I found out his wife. And that is? Uh, his girlfriend, Becky. Her name is Laura Bell Bundy. That's not her. She's a boat sports boats girl, dude. I'm talking about the captain's wife. Yeah, and that's not... The original one, the first one. Yeah, and her name is uh, Zoe. Yeah. That's not Jennifer Lawrence. Who is it? Her name is... It's Jennifer Morrison. Jennifer Morrison? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? George Van Smoot's ex-wife. And Where has she been in? She's been in... Golly, I don't fucking know. You just say golly. I say golly, goddamn. This is like the 1920s all of a sudden. No, it's the 1940s. Yeah. Uh, she's been in How I Met Your Mother, Once Upon a Time. We'll edit this, the whatever. Okay, IMDb. What has Miss Morrison been in? She was born in April 12, 1979. She was in House. Warrior. That's the Star one. Star Trek. Hold on. Sorry, not Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Morrison. So let me rephrase that. Instead of the Hunger Games, Zoe, after all the PETA bullshit, goes on to medical school and decides to f meet Dr. House, has a crush on him, and later on doesn't, winds up fucking the Australian guy. And that's basically it. That's how it ends. And for now... This is how we end it. Nope, she ends up in Command and Conquer 3, and she becomes a GDI intelligence officer. I thought we were done with this. <laughs> and she also works in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That's how she meets the captain. We're gone. Bye, people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and tell him to go fuck himself. Bye.